The term gamer mm. has a negative connotation sometimes in, in popular society. The reason why I think a lot of people think it's negative is because uh, a lot of uh, people who go out on their crazy shooting sprees are the ones that are the ones that play video games, and they always try and tie it back to oh this. This kid who went to school shot 20 other kids because he played Modern Warfare. I believe that that kid might have had mental problems or problems on of what he might have had, you know, and everyone just starts putting, pointing a finger at, oh, he was playing video games, so therefore that's the reason why uh, it's bad and gamers are bad and gamers shouldn't be, and, and games shouldn't be, uh, you know, games shouldn't be that violent and that sort of stuff. So that's why I think a lot of people have a negative feel on the word gamer. It's the Uncanny Valley. I'm Alexis Ayala. Each episode, we choose a point of interest and tell a story based on that idea. This episode, what is a gamer? Easy question, right? Gaming used to be more of a deliberate thing. You used to have to get in your car, drive to the store, and purchase a physical copy of something, then go back home and put it in the box that was designed to physically play those games. That barrier to entry doesn't really exist anymore. We live in a world of Facebook games and thousands of titles just to swipe away in a device that lives in your pocket. In a market that encompasses everything from the 13-year-old kid playing Call of Duty to your grandparents playing Bridge Baron with their friends every day. So in today's society, it begs the question, what is a gamer? I met my, my first long-term girlfriend out of the love of Zelda. First time we met, uh, we stayed up until about 5 a.m. I've got uh, quite a few family members that I'm very close to, but extended family members, but out of all my extended family, I've only got one uh, cousin who I'm close to that's a gamer, and um, we play quite a bit of Dota 2 together. I look at it like a social experiment almost, like the amount of good friends I've made from such a, something people would say, oh, go outside and meet people, and I'm like, I have met people, and they're really cool. I die a lot. I was born a gamer. I've only been playing for like two years. years since I've been going out with Marty in the last three years, two, three years. So what is a gamer? That should be an easy question with an easy answer, but it's not really. The idea that someone who plays games is a quote-unquote gamer is a bit of a gray area nowadays. If we look back to the 70s, 80s, and 90s, it's a bit more black and white. The term gamer was originally intended to describe someone who played role-playing games or war games. And not the RPGs and war games you're thinking of, I'm talking about tabletop or maybe even live action. Think Dungeons and Dragons. The term gamer used to and possibly still does have quite a bit of baggage. It may seem silly now, but playing Dungeons and Dragons used to carry quite a bit of controversy with it. In the 80s, some Christian groups claimed that it promoted practices of devil worship witchcraft, suicide, murder, and other things related to the occult. The saga of James Dallas Egbert III's disappearance and eventual suicide, as well as Chris Pritchard, who was convicted of killing his own father, were blamed on the influence of Dungeons & Dragons. It's a lot like how video games are blamed for all kinds of killings today. Video games, however, are violent, but so are movies, books, TV. Isn't it up to the parents to be informed on what their child is playing? Uh, you know, you don't see a little kid walking into a bar saying, "Oh, can I have a, you know, can I have a beer, please?" And the bartender says, "Yep, okay, sure, you can have one." They've got to show their ID, and that's pretty much how I think it should be as well. I've I've been asked that question a few times: whether games are a bad thing or not, mm -hmm. and whether they impact me in a negative way or not. And it's a hard question for me to answer personally, mainly because the uh, I guess the feeling I have for games taken in moderation. Um, it, it, it detracts from uh, personal one-on-one -on -one experiences and I think that um, the further we get from having uh, personal experiences with each other, um, I, I think that, that just leads to a lot of problems with society as a whole. Here's a hard fact of life, kid. You can't win them all. At the end of the day, it's about survival. So you know what happens, Jason? Do you know what happens? He 
he's okay. Okay, so gaming can be bad for you, but in the same way, anything can. Having a glass of wine with dinner is different than going on a bender. Everything in moderation. But this is all in relation to the stigma of gaming and not what a gamer is. And that's an interesting question because there isn't an easy answer. I mean, your typical soccer mom, who may in the past would have had very little interest in playing a so-called video game, may now spend hours a day doting over their Farmville garden. Grandparents everywhere can now be spotted obsessing about words with friends. And I dare you to find a single person who hasn't at least spent a little bit of time playing Angry Birds. But are these people gamers? If you asked any of them, I'm sure they'd tell you no, even though Mrs. Smith might spend just as much time virtual gardening than her son does pulling off headshots. And sure, the game you play on Facebook is by and large different than what you'd play on your Xbox. But that doesn't make them any less valid. They're games. It's a sign of the medium maturing that these broader experiences now exist. Those kids that grew up playing Super Mario Brothers and Pac-Man, they now have kids of their own, and playing games their whole lives has informed how they view the medium. I should know. I'm one of them. But is being of this generation enough? Does that de facto make you a gamer? Of course not. It's more than that. It's not really the kinds of games you play, but how you play them. You have people who play World of Warcraft you know, 12 hours a day, um, and you know, people call them a hardcore gamer. But then you have people who you know, sit in their office, sit on, on the bus home and play Angry Birds for the same amount of time. Um, but they're called a casual gamer. So like, a gamer, I think, is just a broad term, like an umbrella term, really, for somebody who plays video games in one way, shape, or form. So, what is a gamer? I suppose a gamer is just someone who identifies themselves as one. There are many kinds. Just like lots of people love music, but not everyone who does is a metalhead. Does gaming still have some negativity associated with it? Sure, but so did every other form of media in its infancy. As it matures, those outspoken are eventually put to rest. But it doesn't really matter, does it? It's not a question most people have to ask themselves. Because if you're a gamer, you know. My name is Philip Federico. I'm Kel Drain. Chris Hallett. Tim Taylor. Mitchell Hayes. Rebecca Fernandez. My name is Forrest Pinson. Jordan Trudger. Marty Wong. Nathan Allen Smith. Hi, I'm Barnsley and I'm a gamer. 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 And I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. My name is Alexis Ayala. And I'm a gamer. <laughs>